We are gathered here today, truly in the sight of God, our Creator, and with one another as witnesses to celebrate the marriage of Catherine Ann Deaver and Douglas Alton Wilson. Katie and Doug have invited you here to this beautiful place nestled in the heart of Louisiana to show you a glimpse of an important piece of their love and to share with you in the beauty of nature their pledge of love and commitment to each other. Corinthians 13 says, If I speak in the tongues of men and of angels, but have not love, I am only a resounding gong or a clanging cymbal. If I have the gift of prophecy and can fathom all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have a faith that can move mountains, but have not love, I am nothing. If I give all I possess to the poor and surrender my body to the flames, but have not love, I gain nothing. Love is patient, love is kind. It does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud. It is not rude, it is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered, it keeps no record of wrong. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails, but where there are prophecies, they will cease. Where there are tongues, they will be stilled. Where there is knowledge, it will pass away. For we know in part, and we prophesy in part, but when perfection comes, the imperfect disappears. Throughout time, countless millions of people from many cultures, many religions, and many societies have gathered among families to celebrate their love for one another and their commitment to one another. Today we should try to remember that a wedding is a symbol a heartfelt and meaningful symbol, but a symbol nonetheless. This afternoon's ceremony is a symbol of how, how far Katie and Douglas have come together and a symbol of the promises that they will continue to make to each other throughout the rest of their lives. You have been many things to one another, acquaintances, fast friends, Ten pals via email and instant messenger fed buddies. You've been lifelong friends and now, at this moment, fiancé to one another, soon to be husband and wife. Catherine to be your lawfully wedded wife from this day forward to have to hold in good times and in times of challenge for richer or poorer in sickness and in health will you love honor and cherish her for as long as you both shall live I do Catherine do you take Douglas to be your lawfully wedded husband from this day forward 
to have and to hold in good times and in times of challenge, for richer or poorer, in sickness and health, will you love, honor, and cherish him for as long as you both shall live. I do. I'm feeling like we just met Having held your hand just yet Losing track of things we said get to know you more and you don't even know but you're the one that I adore and I know you wonder why I act the way I do after everything that we've been through I just want to make you feel brand new I'd spend all my days falling for you Yeah